Hey guys, welcome back. Well, there's a saying in the Dutch language that roughly translates into uh, the chimney has to continue to smoke, okay? Now what that basically means is if you're doing what you love, then you need to make sure that you make money so you would be able to continue to do that, right? Now that's basically what this video is going to be about. Um, I did a video in the past, or actually multiple videos in the past, about how to make money as a 3D artist. And especially as a freelance 3D artist, that can be a struggle. So what you need to do is make sure you got multiple streams of income, okay? Now, this video today is going to be about a review of a brand new uh, provider of uh, 3D models and sound effects and so forth where you can sell your models but where you can also buy your models and we're going to do a complete run through. Now, you're probably going to say, well, yeah, but I know about that, you know, I dealt with these companies and, you know, it doesn't work and whatnot. Trust me, you want to check this out, okay? These guys are uh, fairly new, they're really passionate about what they're doing, and the cool thing is they've got a really good mix of models, assets, 3D printables, and sound, and it's not such a hassle to get your files uploaded. And when you have a file uploaded, you're not one in 70,000, because these guys are you know, fairly new, so uh, please check them out, you know, send them some love, and uh, get your work up there. They're not exclusive, so if you're selling your models uh, anywhere else, you can do that there as well. They got really, really good uh, percentages too, okay? So let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. All right, guys. Well, we're on the renderhub.com website. As you can see, a lot going on there and a pretty sweet backdrop as well. Uh, not sure what it is, but it looks uh, pretty cool. And uh, that said, let's uh, check out this website. Okay, so we have a store manager and that will show up once you have created an account and I'll show you how to do that. And then you've got a section of 3D models, 3D figures and assets, print ready 3D models, 3D textures and sounds. Okay, and here you've got an artist gallery if you want to set one up and that's uh, pretty sweet because it will give you some additional exposure. Okay. Now here you can go and search for uh, models that are online that you want if you want to buy them. But obviously you have the option to sell them as well. Now, what's the difference? Well, if we look at the 3D models, you got, you know, weapons, you got, you know, plants, whatnot, all sorts of props and assets that you would find in the scene. And then the difference between 3D models and 3D figures is that is more related to characters, okay? And if we scroll through here, you see all sorts of um, guys and girls uh, looking good, okay? And then if you go down here, you got print ready 3D models. So let's say you created something, you printed it on your 3D printer or you printed it out online or whatever. You got that file lying around and you decide you want to share it online, either free so people can use it or you can ask money for it and make some money, okay? And then 3D textures, of course. I mean, 3D textures are very important as you all know. So these are the categories. Now, before we get into creating an account and selling your models and whatnot, what about buying models? Now, if you're a 3D artist, you're probably gonna say, well, why would I buy models? I can make them myself. Well, I don't necessarily agree with you on that one. Uh, I'll give you an example. If we go into, um, let's say, we'll click on this rifle here, okay? Now, if we go in, you see that it's uh, selling for $5. Let's say I'm working on a scene for a customer and I need a rifle and I have to go out and make it myself. Well, I cannot do that for five bucks. Well, you're probably gonna ask, well, how can somebody else do it for five bucks? But it doesn't work that way because the person that is selling this is hoping to sell this 20 times or 50 times or 100 times, okay? And when that happens, it is actually paid for. So um, in situations where I need a prop like that for my scene uh, to complete something for a client, I would uh, definitely consider doing that, okay? All right. So uh, that's that. Um, let's see, models, uh, figurines. Yeah, we talked about all of that stuff. Uh, here are the different categories here. And then of course, the sound effects. Now, I especially like that. And uh, it's actually pretty cool because the first three ones that you see here, they're mine. Um, the reason why I like that is I like to record and use my own sounds. Um, you know, kind of like a Foley artist, if you will. Uh, having uh, accurate and professional sounds in your animation uh, make it come to life in my opinion and if you have a recorder like a, a zoom recorder or something like that it's pretty easy to um, record sound and sell it online here and uh, I'll show you how that works okay 
All right, so we went through all of that. Let's go into the drop-in menu here. Uh, obviously, you need an account. Now, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't have one, it will say log in or join. You click on join, you fill in your details, you click enter, you get an email, you confirm the email, and you got an account. That's all there's to it, okay? So, um, yeah, we're gonna go in, and uh, let's see, what do we got? Store manager. Now, if I go into store manager, you can see that so far I only uploaded three audio files. Now, I'm gonna be doing uh, 3D models as well, uh, but let's say I want to add a product, okay? So I click on add a product. I can choose what kind. Now, um, like I said, 3D model, print ready 3D model, let's say an SDL file, uh, maybe a character, 3D, uh, 3D texture, uh, 3D materials, uh, script, or maybe a sound effect. So if I click on sound effect, it's gonna ask me, um, okay, what's the duration? Let's say I got a file that is 14 seconds long. Is it mono or stereo? It's stereo. So what's the product name, okay? Let's say, I don't know, wind through trees, okay? Now that wouldn't be enough. What I would say, wav plus mp3, 96 kilohertz, uh, I don't know, 24 bit. So be very specific about it, okay? The more information, the better. And then here you can do a description if you like, uh, you know, the winds were sitting in, I don't know, Georgia on a Sunday afternoon, the wind was coming from that direction, whatever, okay? So just whatever helps you to sell this, okay? And then the search tags, anything that is relevant. Now, your price in dollars, or you can offer it for free. And here it says that the sounds have to include MP3 and WAV, and you have to upload a zip file. So you can use WinZip, which is free. You can compress this into a zip file and then upload it. That's all there's to it. So uh, uploading these three files in total took me, I think, less than five minutes. So that's pretty neat, okay? Now, let's say you want to, uh, I don't know, um, upload a 3D model, okay? We're gonna go back to store manager, add a product, we're gonna go to 3D model. Obviously, you're gonna get different questions, which makes sense, okay? So what do we got? 3D scanned, game ready, and adult content. Now, uh, 3D scanned, let's say you have a scanner, you scan an object, and you wanna position that as such. Now, I assume you know the difference between the 3D scan model and a game ready model, but if not, you should read up on that, okay? So this is literally a scan. Game Ready is a low poly model with uh, texture maps and so forth and adult content. Well, if you don't know what that is, then you're not an adult, okay? Same deal here, product name, product description, be as specific as possible, okay? So people will want to know, you know, the, the poly count, all that kind of stuff. Now it's down here as well, but you know, make sure you put in all the information. Search tags, same deal here. Number of polygons on your model, number of vertices. Uh, did you include the textures? Did you include materials, right? That's not the same thing, trust me. UV mapped, okay, is it UV mapped, yes or no? Did you use PBR texturing? Is it rigged, is it animated? And then here you have all the different extension types, uh, OBJ, FBX, and so forth, and your pricing, okay? And you have the option to upload promo images. Here you have the zip file again, as before, where you make sure that everything is in the zip file. So that is how that upload process works. Now let's look at money, okay? So how do you make money? How much do you get? How does it work and so forth? So my payment uh, options here, I set up my PayPal account, right? And I also have the option down here to select auto pay, which means that I get my payment once a month, or I can go in and set it to manual pay. And when I do that, uh, I will basically say, pay me now, okay? So that's how that works, okay. So um, yeah, you can put in all your social media links here as well, uh, which will help you to drive um, in additional views from and to your uh, portfolio and your models if you like. And then we have the option to go up to the store dashboard. Now, um, like I said, uh, brand new, I just uploaded three sound files. I think it was yesterday or whatnot. So no sales yet, uh, just three active files, but that's fine. And here you can see, okay, so how much did I sell um, in the last 12 months, uh, you know, royalty percentage, 
uh, and a monthly summary and so forth and then sales details. Now uh, in a few months this will probably look totally different hopefully and uh, you will get some good information okay and I'll also help you to get a better understanding once you go in okay so what sells good what doesn't and, and so forth. All right, guys, so making money, royalties. Well, uh, that's the cool thing about RenderHub, okay? If you have anything from one to 10 items that you have uploaded, whether it's a sound file or a 3D uh, model or whatnot, you will earn 50% uh, royalties, okay? However, if you have one more, let's say 11, so anything from 11 to 20, you will jump up to 60. And that will go all the way up to 80% if you have 41 or more items in your store. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but uh, Render Hub is non exclusive. So if you have your models on other uh, similar websites, uh, what you often hear is, well, it's exclusive. If you have it here, you cannot post it anywhere else. Render Hub doesn't have that problem. So if you are selling your model on four or five different uh, websites, you can uh, easily add it to RenderHub as well. Okay, Artist Gallery. Uh, well, you can add uh, models to the Artist Gallery if you like. Uh, you can see that we have a number going on here and uh, yeah, it all looks good. So you can do that as well, again, to drive some additional business for yourself, okay? So yeah, guys, uh, I'm definitely going to be working with these guys. Um, I think they have a pretty sweet website. They got things set up properly. They got a good uh, royalty percentage and whatnot. But what I find most important is that these are nice guys. Okay. Now, does that matter? Well, it does to me. Uh, I mean, I, um, I've worked with other websites in the past where they sold 3D models. And I was just not feeling it, if you know what I mean, okay? These guys are really passionate about what they're doing. They work very, very hard, so I really want them to succeed, okay? So uh, hopefully you will um, check out their services and uh, jump on board, okay? That's all for me on this topic, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.